Hello, church. Uh, my name is Marietta, and I'm from Leicester, and I'm part of the Manchester Central location. I like to continue with our topic today um, about our mission, and it is such a privilege for me to be able to share to you um, our devotion for today. Uh, our devotion for today, I have taken it from a very personal uh, revelation that God has given me. Uh, a revelation that changed my life, my heart, my mind, that um, I, how much I even try to change it or remove it or to undo it, but I can't. It just changed my life that a part of me is dead because of that revelation that God has given to me. And that word that God has given to me, what he told me when he was taking me for a minute or a second, and I'm not sure how long, but um, I didn't know that time it was biblical. And um, it was in the book of Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians 4.18, and I've taken it from the NIB. But before I continue, i like to, to tell you the story on how it happened. Um, I was in a very beautiful resort. Um, that time I've taken my dad after my brother's burial. Uh, my, my brother died, uh, the, my brother who died, who, who committed suicide. So I have to take my dad away um, to, um, to just take him away from our home because my dad is the one who found my brother um, who hung himself um, out of the window. So uh, I just thought of taking my dad away um, to take him out from that trauma because I believe that my dad was traumatized uh, from what happened, from what he saw. So I've taken him away. It's not really useful. I always take my family when I go away for holiday, I take them away to a nice places. You know, I, I give them these material things, luxury in life that I wanted to have as well. And that day I've taken my dad to this beautiful resort with my family. And um, I was fully awake and uh, I was looking outside. It was very early morning and I was alone in that room. And I was looking at this beautiful nature outside the room. And I don't know, but I was awake. And my eyes is open, but I, it seems like I was gone for a minute or a second. But I know I was taken somewhere. And I believe it is God who's taken me away with him. And he said that, everything i see right now they're all just temporary and and tomorrow they'll all be gone you know everything that i see in this world and everything that i give to my family in this world are just temporary everything is just gonna go away but what he has given me is eternal the gift that I received from him, the gift that I received from him is the best gift I could give. And then I was back and tears fell in my eyes and I just cry, you know, and that changes everything in my life that I'm just giving things that to my family, which I thought it's just for my family, for my dad that day, that I've taken him away on the out of that place just for me, for just probably for weeks or days. And that is just temporary. But 
the most important thing that I have to give to Him is the eternal gift I received from God, the eternal salvation. And then I was just thinking, and, I, and since then I continue to seek God, you know, that what is, what does it mean? You know, and then I realized that the eternal gift that I have is only Jesus. The eternal gift that I have is it's just right through me, in me. And that is Jesus Christ who gave me this life. The life with contentment. The life with satisfaction. That I have it all my life. Because you know, church, I received Jesus Christ long ago. And I promised to serve Him twice. It takes me to receive this very personal revelation for me to be able to share the love of God to everyone. And that is only Jesus Christ. I need everyone to know that we have Him, that we should not be keeping Him in our life to sit with it because that gift is precious that we have to share it you know that verse that i received from god is they didn't realize it's biblical and that is from the second corinthians 4 18 and it says that what is sin so we fix our eyes not on what is sin but on what is unseen since what is sin is temporary but what is unseen is eternal the best gift I can give is the gift I have that I received the gift the gift of salvation you know and um, it is by grace true faith and this is not from myself but it is a gift from God and um, you know from that day it, it just sink into me just changed me from within and even how many criticism I received And why the Holy Spirit led me to auditions, I don't know. I just listen to the Holy Spirit. He has taken me here. He brought me here for a reason. And I just obey. And, and that's what I do. I just obey. I'm sorry. <laughs> so now, from that word of God, from he what he revealed to me, it changes, and now I am here, out of obedience from the voice of the Holy Spirit to come to Odysseus, and I came here, and God has done so many things in my life, and. Um, he uses people um, to bring me up to here. Um, now to share to you, um, not only what God has done to me, but um, the mission that God has given to me. Our topic is our mission. You know, um, it says in the book of Acts 4.12, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heavens given to mankind by which we must be saved. And I'm so moved about this verse. You know, 
Even in the book of Timothy, it says, preach in season or out of season. It says, proclaim, proclaim the word of God. You know, in 2 Timothy 4, 2. In NIV, it says, preach in season or out of season. And this moved me so much. To proclaim even my life is in crisis. I come here to obey what Jesus has commanded me to do. And this is not only what God has commanded. Not, this command is not only for me. That the, the gospel must be preached. In spite of any situation, but to be consistent. And to find every opportunity to, to preach the gospel. You know, this is my first time to do this. And I didn't say no, you know, because it is a privilege for me to be able to, to, to show the world, to tell, to tell the world. Whoever tune in into this um, devotion online from Odysseus Church, that there is eternal life, and that eternal life is only through Jesus Christ. That if you receive Jesus Christ in your life, you will save that eternal salvation, salvation that is not temporary, but eternal. You know, in Acts 4.12, salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. You know, church, my encouragement and to all, to everyone that is tuning in, that without me and you, the truth will not come out. God created me and you in his likeness and in his image to serve. And we are here to serve. The vision of the church is not only um, to, um, not only for myself, but and not only for the leaders of the church, not only to our team, to, to our lead pastor, but this, this mission is for everyone. If Jesus made it, if God sent Jesus Christ to make it his mission to save the world, I made this my mission too. So how about if we make this our mission, our vision to serve God, to share the gospel? I represent God. We all represent God. We become the righteousness of God. I am not only restored. I am not only healed. I am not only renewed. I am not only reborn and healed and received the free gift, that the, etern the eternal salvation that, uh, that we receive. But we all have purpose. We, we have all purpose to win souls and make disciples. You know, church, my life is not worth it. My life is nothing. If you know my life, I'm nobody. But Jesus made me somebody in his kingdom. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life that one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. If you believe in this, let's make it a submission to share the gospel, church. Not my mission. If Jesus made it as his mission, let's make it as a mission, our vision to expand the kingdom of God. Let us not keep the salvation we receive to ourselves. We are, we all are stewards of the gospel. Not only with our finances, not only with our jobs, our family, our houses. We can give anything, everything to other people. But the most important thing that we can give to others is the gift of salvation we receive. 
through Christ Jesus our Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, church. And I'm so blessed to be able to share this word. Have a blessed day. God bless to everyone.